So we've got a rainy day. Wanted to take a minute and talk about screws versus nails. I spent a lifetime of shooting nails into frames and houses and siding. But we don't use any nails in our tiny houses. We use screws. And I want to tell you a little bit about the screws and why we use them and why we choose screws. You see, each one of these panels are already aged 20, 25 years old when we put them on here. So they've done all the warping, all the twisting, everything they're, they're going to do has already been done. And if you look, you've got one, two, three, four screws per panel. That's it. That's all you need. This siding right here is several months old and nothing is twisted. Nothing's coming apart. And those screws are going to hold it together as it goes and travels down the road or any type of movement that it has to have. Um, nails have a tendency to want to slip. Even uh, glue dip nails have a tendency to want to slip. So, of course, on our buildings, there's no racking because of the sips. Uh, not like you would in standard two before framing or stack framing. Everything is put together with the screws, including the sips, sip ties, seal plates, top plates, everything. What I found in my 30 years of raising a family um, is that we're always expanding. And so if you want to add a wall or change something or put some lights around, you, all you have to do is pull four screws and you've got a piece of siding that's off and you can put it right back without any damage anywhere. It's simple. Um, one of the houses that we built started out at about 300 square feet and then we the boys grew, four boys grew, and so we added about another 150 square feet and then we added another 100 square feet and then we added another 50 square feet in the loft. Again, the loft, hmm, we're not happy about lofts. So, um, it was nice to be able to add without using a sledgehammer or sawzall or um, or pry big pry bars in order to do that. Now, something about the screws we use. Grip tight exterior screws. No, I don't do any advertising for grip tight, but here's the deal. It's a Torx head screw. I don't know if you can see that or not. Torx head screws. And not only that, it's, Torx head just works so much better than Phillips, and you don't want to just use any uh, screw. You want to use an exterior screw because you're going to be, you don't want it to rust. And usually on a lot of our lower wood and some of our outside uh, wood that we use behind the siding, is pressure treated. And that prime guard is rated for that. So we typically use just two size, sizes of screws. Let me show that one more time. You get the three inch and the two inch. That's basically all we need to build one of these. Although there is about $200 worth of screws in this one tiny house behind me here. And um, it does take a lot of time to put it together. It does, but we feel that it's better. I hope that tip helps. And I hope you enjoy watching our programs. Subscribe and follow us for more tips.